Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Wealth with Wahid. Today we explore the world of environmental, social and governance investing. I'm your host, Adam, and we have a special guest joining us today, Safian Kasim, Head of ETF and Indexing Investment Specialist at HSBC. Welcome, Safian. Thank you very much for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Okay, so today I think we want to talk a little bit about the fund that we'll be introducing at Wahid. So perhaps you can tell us a little bit about the fund if that's okay. Absolutely. Um, so we've spent a lot of time uh, developing a range of investment products which are Sharia compliant, but also have uh, ESG uh, or sustainable considerations built into them. We think the two go hand in hand very nicely under the, the broader umbrella of ethical investing. So we looked, spent a fair amount of time looking at the overlap between Sharia compliant investing, uh, ESG investing, and we noticed that there was significant overlap between the two. So both uh, seek to screen uh, portfolios of or universes, if you like, of a universe of underlying equities according to um, uh, their, their characteristics as defined by, uh, you know, social criteria, governance criteria, environmental criteria. Uh, and what we noticed was that you can combine the two uh, in, in the sense that there's a lot of overlap uh, in ESG investing and chariot investing when looking at companies and their involvement in controversial uh, industries and sectors, for example, alcohol production, tobacco production, gambling, etc. Um, so the two go hand in hand in that respect. And you can easily augment Sharia screening with some additional uh, typically environmental uh, screens of various kinds to create a nice Sharia compliant, uh, ESG compliant uh, screening methodology. All right, that's brilliant. Um, could you tell me a little bit in terms of the fund name, what exactly is it called in terms of investing into the fund? Of course, absolutely. So it's called the HSBC MSCI Emerging Markets Islamic ESG USITS ETF, which is a long name, yeah. I know, um, but long. hopefully everything you need to know is in the name. Okay, brilliant. Um, and in this fund in itself that you are sh going to be launching, what specific asset class would that be under? It's an uh, equity, it, equities is the asset class, and it's a broad-based index which covers emerging market equities more generally. All right. So in terms of the geographical location, you've mentioned um, the emerging markets, any specific countries that we're looking at here? Absolutely. It's quite broad-based in terms of the emerging market coverage. Um, but I would say it has a slight bias towards Asia, where you have some of uh, the larger uh, market, uh, market equity markets. Um, so I'd, if you look at the, uh, the country composition of the index itself that the fund tracks, uh, it's a little bit skewed towards uh, Korea, India, mainland China. So you're getting exposure, if you like, to some of the biggest uh, Asian uh, uh, equity markets out there. Okay, that's very interesting. So quite an opportunity for our investors here at Wahid. Um, perhaps the next thing that we can touch on is a little bit of definition on ESG in itself. So could you elaborate slightly for the layman who does not understand what ESG is? Sure thing. So ESG investing has really taken hold in Europe and that it has um, m many different dimensions to it and people think of it in different ways. So uh, many investors that look for ESG screened uh, products of various kinds or funds which have ESG considerations built into them are primarily focused on the environmental part. Uh, others um, uh, have different ideas and invest in uh, ESG screen products for, for different reasons. If it's an equity index, for example, looks at the companies, uh, how the companies stack up from an ESG scoring perspective. Do they have good ESG scores? So uh, we're talking about using ESG scores where ESG scores assess companies on their environmental credentials, their social credentials, i.e. the impact they have on communities, their governance credentials, how they treat their employees, etc. Um, and they rank companies in accordance with their, um, with, with, uh, their credentials in that regard. And then the, these funds look to use those scores um, to sh uh, shift the weight, if you like, within the underlying indices. All right. So that's pretty cool. So just to make sure I understand it correctly, then the ESG stands for Environmental, Social and Governance. So essentially any investors who do invest in ESG products are essentially investing responsibly. Exactly. Exactly. All right. Great. 
So as an investor, what are the other actual benefits of investing in ESG as opposed to the conventional way of investing, if you don't mind sharing a little bit on that? Absolutely. I think the most important point is the fact that um, it forces companies, when investors choose ESG, um, uh, ESG funds over their vanilla counterparts, what it does is it shifts capital, if you like, towards companies with better ESG credentials because they typically have a higher weighting or more exposure within, uh, within funds that are ESG screened. So what you're essentially doing is you're shifting capital towards companies with better ESG credentials. Um, so you're making it easier for them to fund themselves. And the, com and the flip side of that is you're making it more difficult for, for, uh, for companies which have weaker ESG credentials to fund themselves going forward. So what that says to companies is through a signaling mechanism is it says uh, your ESG credentials are now tied to your cost of capital. Thank you so much for sharing your valuable insights today, Sufyan. It has been a great pleasure having you on the series today. And that, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to the end of the episode for Wealth with Wahid podcast. A big thank you again to Sufyan Kasim, Head of ETF and Indexing Investment Specialist at HSBC for joining us today. Thank you.